안녕하세요. once you understand how he works, you really get to understand why he's as successful as he is. Big Bang, a name that no matter what time you got into K-pop or even if you don't listen to K-pop, you know who they are. But do you know Taeyang, who also had a bang of a solo career, even finding love along the way? But where is he today? Now that Big Bang's long-awaited comeback was canceled this year, is it more likely that the members will return with solos? We're gonna go over all of it, from how Taeyang got into music, his solo career, his marriage, and what happened to him. Now, before looking forward, I always like to look back. Growing up in Yeojeonbu, a province of Gyeonggi, there really wasn't much to do for Taeyang. Taeyang, or his real name Youngbae, at a young age found escape by learning classical music and playing the piano. This was very much a hobby at the time, until his family began to struggle when it came to paying the bills. Taeyong was only in middle school when he considered getting a job in order to help. He still found time to still learn about music when in 6th grade, he entered an audition process to be a part of a music video. That music video was for YG Entertainment's artist and hip-hop duo, Jin Yushan. Taeyang got the part to play Little Sean. You can spot him in the music video right here. And even YG himself, Yang Han Suk. But kids, don't, don't do this. Don't go into a stranger's car, okay? Anyways, this was the start to what would be Taeyang and Big Bang. Taeyang began to grow curious about hip-hop music when working with Jin Yushan on the music video shoot. That motivated him to want to join YG Entertainment as a trainee. When he told his parents about this, they weren't supportive. They didn't agree with his decision, so Taeyang started to starve himself and remain silent, not talking to his family until they let him go. But not going just anywhere. Taeyang really wanted to join YG Entertainment, continuously visiting and asking the CEO Yang Han Suk for a chance. He finally gave in and let Taeyang audition. It was almost a no-brainer. This young, promising kid was so motivated, YG saw this and he passed. As a YG trainee, Taeyang trained with others in the company. That includes a young Kwon Ji Young, later known as G Dragon. Yet they really didn't get much attention or respect. Both of them were in charge of cleaning the practice rooms and were basically glorified errand boys for artists in the company. And what YG saw in Taeyang or anyone around him at the time wasn't pure talent or ability, but instead this burning passion for music. I saw his journey from the get-go when he first came into YG. Honestly, wasn't as just natural with it, you know? And so we knew he had passion and love for music, but there was a time when in the beginning and even now was that passion drove him to become better and better every single day and it was just an incredible thing to see. He, uh, he worked his butt off. In 2003, YG Entertainment had plans for Youngbae and Ji Young. Both were scheduled to debut not in a group, but as a duo. Even coming up with the name GDYB, using Youngbae's initials and Ji Young's newly created stage name, G Dragon. But this plan would fall through, as YG Entertainment brought in more trainees and filmed the debut process of YG Entertainment's first K pop group, Big Bang. At the end of the show, G Dragon, T.O.P., Taesung, Seungri, and Youngbae, going by his new stage name, Taeyang, he chose the name Taeyang himself, which means sun in Korean. Basically, he wanted to burn as the brightest sun in the universe. In the same year Big Bang debuted with moderate success, Taeyang was one of the first in the group to get a solo song. In My Girl, Taeyang gave up strong early R&B Usher vibes, like almost identical. You'll tend to see this early in YG artists that they lean really heavy into hip hop and rap that was coming out of America at the time, but eventually you'll get to see them shift away from that and create their own unique YG style. Somewhat quickly as a group, Big Bang found success with chart dominating songs like Last Farewell, Day by Day, also known as Haru Haru, and the immediate mainstream hit, Lies. This set Big Bang on a path to not only K-pop stardom, but a global one as well. If you want to hear about their story, click the video up in the top right to see what happened to Big Bang. Let's fast forward to about 2008, where Taeyang announced he was working on his first solo album. But it didn't really happen as it conflicted with Big Bang's schedule, so he released an EP instead. The YG family worked on it, even Yang Han Suk himself. Two singles would come out of it, Only Look At Me, a longing song about missing a girl that goes around with everyone else in Big Bang, which, come on, that 
that's not realistic. I'd fall for Taeyong with these moves? Come Okay, that's just me. The other single, Prayer, was more dance focused. It may seem like Taeyang was able to show off his best abilities as an artist, but not quite. He showed some frustration over his album not just because of the conflict over scheduling, but also because he wasn't able to participate in the writing of his own lyrics. He did, however, promise to write his own lyrics to convey more of his ideas in his music. Still, his first ever solo music won him the best R&B soul song and album at the 7th Korean Music Awards. And this was the first time an idol from a K-pop group ever won these awards. Taeyang seemed like he already had that spark of a future star. Through 2009, Taeyang promoted with Big Bang as they broke into Japan and helped promote their sister group's debut, oh, you know, a, a little group called 21. Towards the end of the year, Taeyang went back to work in the studio on new singles. One was Where You At, another R&B choreography heavy song with the other one arguably his first song that made him more than just a member of Big Bang and made him stand on his own as his own solo artist. Oh, believe me, Wedding Dress is going to be one of those songs that will be on every K-pop fan's wedding playlist. Don't, don't lie to yourself. It's already on mine. The music video got a total of 60 million views and the single landed Taeyang on Billboard's Digital Songs chart at number 3. If you haven't listened to Wedding Dress, do yourself a major favor, listen to it right now. Well, actually, after this video, I, I need to watch time. It's just one of those songs that is beloved in K-pop that gives such nostalgic vibes. Now, remember when I said Taeyong was hoping to release a full album? Well, in 2010, he was able to scratch that off his bucket list. Taeyong finally wrote, composed, and finished all the preparations for his first album called Solar. And this album was definitely something Taeyong can be proud of. Girl. Yes, the iconic I Need a Girl came from this album. And fun fact, it's actually the theme song to my whole life. But I Need a Girl was a romantic anthem in K-pop featuring 21's Dada. All of this accumulated into Solar peaking at number one on the Gaion charts and earned Taeyang the Best Male Artist Award at the 2010 Mnet Asian Music Awards. Mnet Asian Music Awards, the Mnet Asian Music Awards. Yeah. <laughs> it took some time until both Taeyang and Big Bang returned with the Tonight album in 2013, then the impactful Alive album in the following year in 2014. You know, the one with the pretty popular song in it. Wow. Fantastic, baby. At the time Big Bang was soaring with those releases, Taeyong put in countless hours on his second upcoming album. Like the last one, Taeyong was involved in the production process, but this time he dove in deep, producing a total of six tracks. Then, in order to build anticipation, YG released the music video for a pre-release song. Ringalinga was absolutely the party anthem of 2013, a modern hip hop track that brought that YG swag with current and future YG artists from So Min Ho from Winner and Lisa from Blackpink. The song was on repeat for everyone, racking up over 100 million views over time and got international coverage on Billboard charts. But the full album wasn't even released yet. Finally, in 2014, we got to see everything. <laughs> After you finally got over a shirtless Taeyang for four minutes, Eyes Nose Lips was that song. The song we all fell in love with. It was simple in the visuals and music structure. However, this song struck a chord with everyone. Korea took it upon themselves to create their own dance covers of Ringa Linga and of course, covers of the new hit, Eyes Nose Lips. Also, with big name celebrities showing their love for Taeyang, the Rise album soared to the top of charts, sold thousands of copies, and was the highest charting K-pop album by a solo artist at the time. While Ringalinga and Eyes Nose Lips were what everyone was talking about, Taeyang also promoted another song from the album called 1AM. This song was special for Taeyang, not because of the meaning of it or anything, but because of the person acting with him in the music video, Min Hyorin a model, actress, and singer with a long career that led her to this music video shoot. But why was it special? This is where Taeyang and Hyorin first met, and something more started to grow between them. 
they began to start seeing each other as a couple. Finding love while still working, Taeyong wasn't done yet. He surprisingly teamed up with what would be that duo of GD and YB. And probably the song that shook the K-pop world, and you could feel those shakes across the world. I'm a good boy. I am a good boy. Now I can't play because I got copyrighted on my GD video, but believe me, the song was insane. I think it caused its own wave of people who have never heard of K-pop before to actually give it a listen. After killing it in Korea, Taeyang embarked on his first world tour in 2015, named the Rise World Tour. Now when I say world tour, I mainly mean just Asia. But he still performed for over 100,000 fans. From 2015 to 2016, it was nothing but touring for Taeyang as he rejoined with Big Bang. To drop the massive Made album and rushed off to host the monumental Made World Tour. <laughs> Now, Taeyang loved Big Bang, but when he creates his own work, he wants it to be on the same level as the group. He doesn't want people to say, Taeyang's show was good, but it's not like Big Bang's show. He wants to plan everything and leave everything on the stage with no regrets. But as a perfectionist, Taeyang struggled to maintain his mental health as it was nonstop with Big Bang and his solo music. So when it came time to release a new album in 2017, Taeyang was worried. He was worried about the response he would get, how well it would do, and his own satisfaction of it. Over the course of his music career, this upcoming album, White Knight, was different for Taeyang. He can be kind of a perfectionist, um, but I don't, I mean, in the moment that can be a little difficult um, and frustrating. He's just a very integral person, very professional. Um, his work ethic is great, you know. When he's uncomfortable with something, he's not afraid to vocalize it. He'll be very vocal about what he doesn't like, what he's uncomfortable with. Uh, even if he says it in Korean and I don't understand it, <laughs> I can still feel you know, the tension of what he wants and then he'll follow up and tell us what he wants. Um, of course, I noticed immediately that he was full hands-on with everything, directing and running the show and he was, you know, making sure everything was where exactly where he wanted it to be. And as well as the music too, like his music it has grown so much throughout the years as well. In the Taeyang documentary on YouTube, you'll be able to see the process and how much he thinks in every detail. So all the worries he had about this album, I don't think he should have ever thought of them. Because in the summer of 2017, his hard work would shine through. I just wanna hold you. Darling, along with Wake Me Up, was the title tracks. You can tell this is a much more mature Taeyang. It was all carefully crafted. If anything, this is Taeyang's best work, and the numbers don't lie. Darling was a top 10 hit in Korea, while Wake Me Up did numbers breaking into the Billboard's World Digital Songs chart at number 5. White Knight as an album also debuted at number 1 on the Billboard's World Albums chart and stayed there for two weeks. He was only the second K-pop act to do it. Fans show support through the charts, but more meaningfully in person when Taeyang greeted them with a new world tour. It wasn't easy, but you can tell how much this meant to Taeyang, how he interacted with fans, how he cared about the viewers' experience. Kinda wish I went, honestly. In the end, I think Taeyang was really happy with how everything turned out, because that now meant he could start a new chapter in his life. In 2018, Taeyang made an announcement that his girlfriend of four years, Min Hyorin, and him would be getting married. Their relationship did struggle at points like anyone else, but they remained passionate and caring for one another. That's how they knew. So on February 3rd, 2018, Taeyang and Min Hyun-in joined as one. It was a sight to see. Taeyang, the man who we saw grow up in Big Bang, found his significant other. They decided to get married when they did because Taeyang received his summons to serve in the Korean military in March, alongside his group member Daesung. During that time, he did not stop performing and put on a show at festivals in his military reserves. 
It wasn't until November 2019 where we would see Taeyang again, when he was finally discharged. But now is 2020. What happened to Taeyang? While Big Bang was lined up to make their long awaited comeback at Coachella this year, since they were all out of the military, but since a pandemic happened, that was all cancelled. There really isn't any news coming out of YG or Taeyang about his next steps, either solo or with Big Bang. But in the documentary, when he was asked what he'll do after the military, he said this. If you wanted to, you could relax the rest of your life, right? <laughs> but I want to work. Yeah, it's not fun. But I guess I love. Looking at everything Taeyang has created and done, his actions, his perfectionism, there are signs of a true artist. When he was younger, he didn't necessarily have natural born talent, but what he did have was burning, undying passion, which continued to burn and burn as he got older, easily making Taeyang shine brighter than any other star in the universe. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like and hit the subscribe and the bell so you don't miss a new one. But there are some artists that I cover here on the What Happened series that I'm like, I need to do them justice. Uh, I looked back at my G-Dragon one. I was like, that was pretty good. That's probably one of my favorite ones I did. I, I got to step it up for Taeyang, you know, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you learned about Taeyang if you didn't know already. And uh, let me know down in the comments what artists or group should I cover next in the What Happens series. Taeyang has classic K-pop songs that no matter what generation of K-pop you come from or listen to, I Need a Girl, Wedding Dress, Ringa Linga, like, yo. Compared to all the other stories I cover, which is like, oh, the group disbanded or something bad happened. I love to do stories like this. There are very few of them, but I'm happy when I do it. Taeyang story is like so inspirational and heartwarming, you know, the wedding and everything. Anyways, if you want to support and make more of these videos possible, like these awesome people, head over to Patreon and support over there. If you want to check out more videos and help out this video's performance, click on one of those over there, including what happened to G Dragon, one of my personal favorites, and the last what happened video, what happened to Infinite. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Annyeong.